Hey guys, didn't expect to be seeing you here. Um, so I bet you're wondering, no, you're really not wondering, are you? <laughs> Why I'm in a bunker, literally in my basement, in my house. One minute you're there, you're making all these epic plans to entertain the world. The next minute you're in your basement. So until further notice, my show is just gonna be taking place right here in my war bunker. Okay, I got vinyls. Be needing those when it's all over. I'm trapped. I'm really trapped, guys. <laughs> look there, look at that. I put Google, I put googly eyes on Bush's baked beans. <laughs> Listen, Beanie, you've been a great part of the show. You're unforgettable, but I'm gonna need you for sustenance during these these harsh times. So I'm gonna have to open your skull and drink your your juices. Mmm, slimy yet satisfying. Well, we may be here until further notice, but as they say, the show must go on, okay? So today, I'm gonna attempt to lighten the mood and uh, talk about uh, the second most prevalent germ out there, actually. And uh, she goes by the name of Gwyneth. Oh, that's right, she's back! This lady, okay? This lady, she's back. You know her, you know who she is, you know what she's done. It's with heavy heart and out of sync chakra, I must inform you that Goop has somehow gotten its own Netflix series. I know most of you probably know this by now, it's old news, but everyone's been nonstop requesting I take a look at it. So, as a man of the people, I figure, I will give the public what it wants. Interestingly enough, it wasn't received very well by critics who cited that the show was peddling pseudoscience, basically. Uh, so the world hasn't totally lost its mind yet. That's, that's one thing to count our blessings on, I suppose. So the actual name of this show is, and I quote, the Goop Lab with Gwyneth Paltrow. I don't understand, how has it come this far? Why will Goop not just stay where it belongs? Which is underneath the foundation of my house, in my cesspit. If you happen to be one of those privileged few who haven't heard of Goop before, I'll just catch you up. Uh, Goop just happens to be the health and wellness company of widely renowned Hollywood actress Gwyneth Paltrow. Now you know you're dealing with a reputable company when you got Headlines like, Goop approved shrink says there's no such thing as coronavirus. Best part about this is that Goop has actually distanced themselves from this former contributor. She reminds me of when Al-Qaeda was like, okay, listen, we might be terrorists, but these freaking ISIS guys, what the hell? It's a little extreme. The concept of this show is brilliant. Gwyneth and her posse pretty much, there's no other way to say it, uh, they put her staff through a literal gauntlet of human guinea pig experiments to, I don't know, find the fountain of youth or something. I'm, I'm talking total shots in the dark. Like one staffer will just wake up one day and be like, what if like swallowing liquid nitrogen like cures postpartum depression? Oh my God, good job, Jennifer. Yeah, let's try that. What if it does? Don't forget to sign your wrongful death suit waiver. All right then, let's take this dive of faith with them. We got six episodes, six steps, six chances for fatal injury. Let's find out the route to perfect health according to Goop. Step one, doing hard drugs on the ground in a foreign country. Is it too late to back out or, um... When I started Goop in 2008, I was like, my calling is something else besides, you know, making out with Matt Damon on screen or whatever. <laughs> I'm 14 seconds in, okay? 14. And already, we've got perhaps a contender for the Guinness Book of World Records' largest humble brag. Technically nine seconds, because the little Netflix logo takes up five all to itself. Nine seconds in! To me, it's all like laddering up to one thing, which is optimization of self. Like, how can we really like milk the shit out of this? <laughs> <laughs> at least she's honest. Just another day at the office. You have a hundred needles in your face, at least. What the fuck are you doing to people? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing to people? What the fuck are you doing to people? You put a hundred needles in that woman's face, Gwyneth. We need answers, okay? What did you gain from that? We get to explore, like, is this real? Do we feel better? And grapple with some topics that are hard. You know, like algebra, who needs that? Biology, see you later. Ethics, definitely won't need this one. Relax. That was like next level shit. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's beautiful in the same way like open heart surgery is beautiful. It's nice, but I'm not gonna put it on my wall, Grams. I'm not gonna frame it. Isn't that beautiful? 
Isn't that beautiful? You gotta wonder why that's not in the Louvre. You see those dark spots? are always chafing up down there. No really checks. God, that's a looker. Okay, welcome. It's such an honor to have you both here. What a pleasure. Thank you. Can you explain to us what MAPS is? Well, Gwyneth, MAPS tends to be a diagrammatic representation of land or sea that people can use to find their way around. Typically comes from electronic uh, to old, used by hikers, roadsters. Heck, I hate to tell you, even the odd pirate will use one of those bad boys. MAPS is the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. I would personally love to know a little bit about the trajectory of using psychedelics as a healing modality. All right, let's slow down, Gwyneth. Let's stop using those big words. You know, those trajectories and modalities. And let, let's keep it to some simpler, smaller ones you do know, like give and me and your and, you know, money. You like this? You don't, you know this one, don't you? Well, psychedelics are back and they're being used in the context of spirituality, healing and celebration of transitions. In the <laughs> okay, okay, this is, this is the footage you're gonna use to convince me? Uh, don't worry, it's completely safe. I mean, check out this footage of Ink and Mo Howard shooting up hot lead up his nose. <laughs> oh, dude. Fuck the clinical trials. Inject that straight into my newborn baby. So we wanted to explore psychedelics in a therapeutic setting. Look, Elise, you didn't have to create an entire Netflix series just as an excuse to do drugs, okay? I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Can we be real here? Can we quit pretending? We decided to try psilocybin, also known as magic mushrooms, in Jamaica, where their use isn't regulated. Jamaica's like, I don't know. Eat as many mushrooms as you want. Hire a private militia. Fuck if we care. That's where we decided to do the mushrooms. How did you choose who went on the trip? So the CUBE staff sort of nominated themselves and raised their hands. <laughs> She's like covering her bases, like, at least tell them, tell them I didn't force them. Oh, the goop, they, they raised their hands. I, I, please put me in the foreign jurisdiction with no regulations. So yeah, their first health experiment here is just literally the goop staff going and taking magic mushrooms. I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat. I wonder what's gonna happen next. You can cry, you can scream, you can like pound the ground. The only thing we don't do is get sexual with each other and we don't take our clothes off. But other than that, like literally anything goes. I mean, okay, you can pound the ground, you can punch, you can scream. No sex though, don't wanna see any boobies. You can take a simtar, bore your neighbor David. Don't see the boobies though. If the boobies come out during that, you're in trouble. We're going to give uh, three grams so we can be with the spirit of the mushroom. Seriously, that, that puny thing, that's what you're bringing? For God's sakes, the spirit of the mushroom is joining us tonight. You want, you want them to think we're a bunch of dweebs? Should have left this to me. Okay, see that? That is a proper roll. <laughs> yeah, the spirit of the mushroom, yeah! <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah. Where's Sasha? Sasha? Right here. Okay. In fact, Who's Sasha? Oh, your energy is pretty good. Oh, I don't know where it is. Oh. <laughs> Take him off. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Got you. Got you. <laughs> Damn, they got some good shit in Jamaica. Yeah. I was on the way there again to the light source. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I feel the light source. He's turning into an angel in his fucking brain, dude. <sighs> Oh, hey, I think I found Sasha. Two of them. In fact, two Sashas, if my eyes do not deceive. Yeah. <sighs> What's that about? What's that? Stop jiggling his, his breast. Stop that. Did he have some phlegm you need loosened up in there? He's got a chest infection. What could call for that? I feel like I'm the light of the center of the, center of the circle right now. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Well, I want to hear that one more time from you, Kevin. I feel like I'm the light of the center of the center of the circle right now. Yeah. Kevin's having a real good time, Jesus. Good work. <laughs> What's with the dual pets? Look how hollow he sounds too. It's like a fucking watermelon on there. Awesome. Nice work there, Kevin. That was a rough one. It was very beautiful to lie there next to Kevin and watch him be held by these two men mm. in a way that Big, he hadn't by man. his own father. And- Don't you understand, all Kevin ever wanted was love from his two big, strong, hairy-armed dads. And now he's finally got it. I don't know if the mushrooms were necessary, but he was on mushrooms while he found his two dads. You look at the team at Goop, they are all 
carrying tremendous amount of pain and loss. You know, you, for example, what could possibly be wrong with you? You have everything. <laughs> At least the cameras are rolling. Cut that out. Cut that. Stop that. You have everything. You're beautiful. You're wealthy. You're famous. Like, shut up. <laughs> You know? <laughs> this is, she's a riot, isn't she? Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop now. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> she, she's, just, she's actually mentally disabled. That's why. Since going through it, what's been your experience of like being in your body? I've been carrying this sort of emptiness and loneliness around for 36 years now. <laughs> I've been carrying this emptiness and loneliness around for 39 years. <laughs> So is it 36 or 39? I don't get... Kevin, I have a feeling the mushrooms back there may have melted one of your cortexes. And thank you for letting me do all of this fun stuff. And Shut up. Yeah, thank you. Now go make me a coffee. Okay, we're on to step two. Chilling with a crazy Dutchman. Literally. Seven degrees Celsius, 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Thermo shockingly cold. This is not just regular cold. I don't know what actually what the stages between cold and thermo shocking are. I'm assuming it's at least three or four colds. Thermo shockingly cold for a human to go into the water. I know you're about to go in the water. Why are you gonna do it? Stay out of it. Take a hike on a sunny day. You cannot just jump in. This is dangerous. I started to feel like a panic attack coming on. <laughs> I can't, can't really blame you. You got a freaking crazy random Dutch guy going, this is actually dangerous. I'm going to make you jump in that water. You can't go back. You look like a pussy. But also, I won't let you. My arms are strong. A human wouldn't last too long. And he would go into involuntary gasping. <gasps> Why are you gasping like that, man? That... That didn't seem involuntary. <laughs> <coughs> There's no way that's involuntary, that's all I'm saying. Cold water is a great way to learn to deal with stress. So this guy is pretty well known. His name is Wim Hof. He's like this insane Dutch guy who just like sits out in the cold in his underwear and just tells everyone they should do that. Because apparently that's the only way to resolve anything in your life. Oh, excuse me, you're, you're not sitting on a glacier in, in, in nothing but your underpants? What are you, what are you, stressed or something? You can go into the cold water and adapt. And with that, you become the alchemist of life itself. I think you're getting, you're getting a little carried away, dude. You're just sitting in cold water, which is which good for you. But I don't know about the alchemist of life thing. There's the lady. Hello. I've just been watching YouTube videos of you. All right. Can I hug you? Of course. I will. Uh, this guy's a bit handsy, isn't he? Did you, who, did anyone screen this guy? He's Dutch? You're the living example of mind over matter. Yes. Yes, that's me. Yes. I am that. I am that. They call me the Iceman because I do all kinds of extremes in the cold. Oh, okay. It fits. It's a good name. What you're in the process of proving is that this prevailing belief that we cannot control our autonomic nervous system is a fallacy and that we can directly impact and affect our immune system, our mood, the way that we respond to life. Yeah. Whatever you said, yes. I am cold man. I mentioned this, I am cold man. <laughs> I enjoy the ice. Just by using the mind, I was able to make the skin temperature not go down after exposure of cold water. It's crazy. That's crazy, because it's not true. That led to the interest of scientists they injected E. coli bacteria. Hey, Jack, Jack, PhD, do you see him sitting in that pool of water? You see him sitting, get that E. coli! I was able to defy the reaction of the bacteria injected. And you've taught people how to do it. And you showed people how to inject E. coli into you? Cool, yeah, cool. All right, beautiful people, We're gonna go into the depth today. That's cute, he made him lay in the shape of a snowflake. He may be cold, but he's not heartless. See, da, go, go, hey, da, hey, ha, hey, da. I'm trying to do what you say. You keep screaming. You're screaming something at me. Hey, 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 hey,
When we just go, when can I go in the cold water and go home? What the fuck is going on? This is probably the most insane thing I've been asked to do for Goop. Trust me, Anna, you're, you're only on episode two, okay? I wouldn't be calling that kind of thing now. Also, hey, it's Anna, the associate food editor. Uh, remember from the, uh, the, the pop-up store? Anna is one of our fantastic food editors. Still don't know what a food editor is. Breathe in, go in, go out, breathe out. It was so freaking cold. Like, if I like didn't have the breathing techniques and like didn't breathe the whole time, I would have not been able to move. You know, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I gotta face my fears sometimes, so it's now or never, right? Let's do this. Oh! Oh! I can't get back. I can't get back. That was, I don't know, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I was just, I was trying to, you know, to breathe when I could to get my, like, nose above the water level. My, my heart was just beating. My parasympathetic um, nervous system was taking care of that. Like, I didn't have to make my heart beat. So that was, like, taken care of. Man, I barely made it out of there. Looking at the lake, it was like a pretty massive oh fuck moment. Like disbelief that I'm actually doing this. Oh my God, she did it! I'm not to like sound dramatic, but I feel like that was like a changing point in my life. I mean, you don't sound not dramatic. Even, even Wim's like, all right, it, lady, it's not that serious. Eject some coal island and talk to me. Would you come with me? Yeah. To do push-ups? I can't do a push-up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the brief moment, like, Gwyneth Paltrow remembers she's human. Push-ups? Yeah, like, oh, totally. I'd normally do, like, friggin' 8,000 of those, but, like, I just had like a chewy bar today. I'm kind of like my blood sugar's down. All I can say is I know she's fasting. And oh, at least with the save, okay? She's like, at least that's what I pay you for, baby. That's what I pay you for. She says she can't do push-ups. She's still gonna do more push-ups than I. Like even though she's like a, clearly like a decrepit skeleton right now. And like, you're basically like a monster for making her do it. She's still gonna be down there doing more like skeleton push-ups than me. We are going to do push-ups. How many do we do? As many yes. as we can? Just go. Just go, just freaking go. The doors locked. Your security guards, I froze them. <laughs> it's pure silence, dude. It's pure silence. This was part of the deal. So we get him out of here. I'm scared of him. I'm scared. Are you tired yet? <laughs> Going good, ladies. Yes. <laughs> At least took the fall. What a surprise. She is strong. Okay, fun. 20. There. That's... And she is fasting. I know. That's why I said... Yeah, uh, you don't have to bring it up. Like, that's what I said. I said, like, she could do more even though she's fasting. You don't have to like, bring it up because I obviously did it because I'm, you know, like, she's my boss and I can't fucking tear her up in front of you. You fucking weird fucking ice man, fucking weirdo, dude! I don't think I can do any more push-ups. <laughs> you give the best, you get the best. Just do that. You're in the icebox now, okay? Because as far as I can see, it's you and you and me in this room and there's no way out so you're gonna give me the best you're gonna get the best a nice man it's because i deal with ice and ice related activities all right okay moving on step three admiring the female form with grandma so now we're sitting with our genitals exposed. Ugh, skin doesn't fit. It's all blotchy. I got all these bruises. Naked Sixty. little old yeah. lady with her vibrator. <laughs> Are they going to show the vulva? Like, is this going to happen? <laughs> and okay, I cannot show you any of that on YouTube. And frankly, I don't want to talk about what I've seen ever again. Moving on to step four. Health step four, just literally psychics. Energy is real, and there can be a positive energy exchange and a negative one. Once you become aware, you can start to help open you up energetically. Psy psych psychics? What does that have to do with wellness? I swear, it just makes less and less sense the more it goes on. Basically, in this episode, they bring on this lady who claims she's a psychic and acts like she's straight out of Minority Report. You know where this is going. So I'm just going to be quiet for one moment. Okay, okay we'll see what they have to say. 
Okay, I do have a female figure coming out in on my upper right hand screen. So that. What do you mean by screens? What are you talking about screens? You seeing a TV in your head? What are you watching? Guess who? <laughs> I'm trying to pull that through a little bit more. Um, don't feed yeah. me. Yeah, don't sorry, feed sorry. the media. No, I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm hearing what sounds like an E-L or an L sounding name to me. Okay. His name was Elmo. He was red and furry and liked to be tickled. Son of a bitch. Why do you have to drink so much? Do you understand? Yeah. I'm also hearing happy birthday. Is there a birthday coming up in the family? I come to think of it, there does happen to be one. Have you been stealing my credit card information? Are you the one who took my fucking social security number? So I don't know what this has to do with wellness, but for this part, they pair everybody off and then they exchange personal items and then they're supposed to read the energy of that item and then draw something about the other person that they got from the item. <laughs> How did we get here? Can you share what you got? Yeah, so I don't know why- What the object was. It's this awesome dog. For some reason, I feel like this was given to you for like a birthday, but it wasn't supposed to be super sentimental, but then it like became sentimental. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to like be awkward or anything, but like, I don't know, like, does, does that mean anything to you? Because that's what I was getting. Like, I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but y'all yeah, just don't worry about that. If you ask for signs and messages, like really specific concrete ones from the other sign, you will get them. I ask you for a sign. Why doth do I not have a Netflix show? If this is be the bar, Netflix, if you are out outeth of ideas, just give me a fucking thing call. And so I was doing a reading for Anna, and she is skeptical. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> To me, this whole medium psychic mm -hmm. world is very much like Santa Claus. That's the truth. Just because something sounds so fairy tale like and so beautiful doesn't mean it's not true. Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, retirement funds. First thing I want to say is there is there are there twins in the family or like a Gemini like birthday? What is that? June? No. I keep saying like. <laughs> like how offended she is. No. Would you pick a stinky month like that? I keep saying like uh, like. Two back to back. It's very back to back. Like, like I feel like I want to talk about twins. Okay, identical, fraternal, Olsen. I don't care. Just please stay on track, Anna. It's one of those things when you're proving something that seems like outlandish and crazy, you have to be like spot on and you have to do it right if you want to prove your point. Good on you, Anna. Good on you. You didn't cave. I'm, I'm glad Anna's food editor. I like Anna. She's the better angel of our goop. Is there like a funny story or a picture about a donkey? Or is there something with Shrek? What the fuck, Shrek? What? I genuinely wasn't expecting you to bring up Shrek. You haven't got anything so far. How desperate are you that you go to Shrek? This is my psychic charade part. And I'm seeing like a donkey and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say about it. Well, you know, I agree. I, I, I think I see a charade as well and a donkey performing it. Is there anything with like a trip to Mexico? Mm -mm. And... No, okay, no, I, no no donkey, no Mexico, no Shrek. What are you try, trying to pitch a movie to me? Eddie Murphy goes to Shrexico starring Cheech Marin? I, I don't know what you want from me, lady. Hey, Laura, this is really strange. I think you're actually reading Lindsay right now. <laughs> that can happen. This I... is the problem with- <laughs> Wires got crossed. This happens all the time. You, what, what band were you on? Oh, I was on 16.1, that's Lindsay. That's not you, duh. That's where the Shrek came from. I have chills right now. So those first people who came in were yours, right? Lindsay, in tears, all right? Just a coincidence. Producer of the show, associate producers, just a coincidence. She hears Mexico, burrito, Shrek. Oh my God, that was my grandfather. He was a giant Mexican Shrek donkey. My father was just joking that he really wanted for the photo booth at our wedding in Mexico to have a donkey. Oh, stop it right oh my now. God. My that is so funny. I love this. <laughs> wow. They completely avoid Shrek. Just want to point that out. Nobody answers for Shrek. I want to know whose wavelength she was reading that came with Shrek. Health Step 5, the man spreading Merlin of massage. You can measure the energy field of the body like somewhere between four and six feet off the body. The body doesn't end right here at the skin. The body is multidimensional. So when I'm moving my hands in the air and I'm snapping my fingers and I'm making sounds with my hands, I'm putting energy into the field around somebody's body and I'm changing their energy system just by the way I interact with it. Did you get all that? That's peer reviewed. I really don't know what to tell you about this episode. This one is about a magician masseuse. Like, am I supposed to make 
jokes about that. They're not trying by this point. They at least tried with the fucking ice water guy. So he just goes around going, uh, uh, uh. and then and then they get up and they just go, wow, how'd you do it, doc? I couldn't come up with this shit if I tried. So I've been hesitant to show it just because it, it can look strange, yeah. but I think it's time for the world to see. <laughs> When I first met John, there was a woman on- No, yeah, bring on the testimonials, bring bring her on. Before, one of my spinal columns was severed and then Max came along and went nip, nip, nip. And now all my bones are back. What? You fuckers. You fuckers. You motherfucker, I will rain hellfire upon you. Last step, health span plan, okay? This one at least looks like it could be related to health. Let's finish this saga, shall we? Um, uh, why didn't I get that one? I get the stinky one. Are you ready for your diet, oldie? I'm ready. Really? Nothing weird, nothing scary? This one's just them doing diets? Okay. All right, I can get with this. Here's here's my diet. I got ra I got ramen I gotta eat on Wednesday with a Red Bull on Wednesday. Um, That, re that Red Baron deep dish is gonna be on Wednesday. I'll eat that now, actually. But I don't know, something's weird here. This episode is suspiciously absent of Gwyneth Paltrow randomly separating the plasma from her own blood using a centrifuge and then reintroducing it into her own face using a needle gun. And I'm gonna collect your golden broth. <coughs> yeah, she's spinning your blood. Beautiful. <coughs> oh, you put it on the forehead? Yes. <coughs> oh, look at that. I actually might throw up. I actually might throw up. All right, so how'd the, how'd the diet turn out, though? I don't know why that was in there. These little cones, they stimulate collagen formation in addition to holding the skin back. What is going on with this episode? I don't recall every diet coming with a side of facial reconstruction. These devices, in general, last about nine months in the body. What you're telling me is those beads that make me look like the Black Dahlia, they stay at least for nine months in my body? Sign me up, put that in. Go on, put that bead in my face. We're gonna give you a mirror. I just want to see your reaction. Oh, great. Wow. What, who, who is that? Who is that, Jennifer Aniston? Other than diet, what would you say is this sort of second most important? Is it sleep? Is it stress? Okay, so after all this, why don't you tell us? Well, what was the moral of the story all along, huh? How do you get healthy? It's everything you kind of know. Don't right. smoke, exercise, get sleep and it seems like genetics plays yeah. a little bit of a role in it, so. Get sleep, exercise, don't smoke, 90% of a predetermined fate. You know, everything you already know. It's like you, know. you say, the tenants of wellness are typically free. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Excuse me, what now? The tenants of what now are typically what now? Can I get that again? It's like you, know. you say, the tenants of wellness are typically free. <laughs> yeah. It's true. So you tell me all that money I spent on your website I could have got, typically, for free? Yeah. It's true. All that money gone, all that time wasted. And I could have just got this, typically, for free. It's true. Oh, no, I've just had it. She lied to me. She lied when I had nothing left. Hello, operator? She lied to us. I believed in you. I don't know what I believe in anymore. I don't know what I believe in. <laughs> Me and Beanie's Delicious Brains want to thank today's sponsor for making this video possible. And that sponsor is Honey. Honey is the free online shopping tool that helps you find promo codes and applies them to your cart to save you money. I've worked with Honey in the past, as you may know, and those of you who've installed Honey using my link have collectively saved over $450,000. If you can believe that. For those of you who didn't sign up, you're literally just throwing away money. What are you doing? It's free to use and installs in two clicks. Did you catch that? I installed Honey just there. It was that quick. Here, let me show you again in case you missed it the first time. With everyone working uh, from home these days, I gotta tell you, sweatpants are quite the rage. And I'm about to buy a pair from The Gap here. Oh, and look at that. With Honey, I just saved $14.38 that I otherwise wouldn't have. Honey works with over 30,000 online stores, so make sure you get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash jontron. That's joinhoney.com slash jontron. Thanks, Honey, for sponsoring today's video. Stay safe, everyone.